talk about the simple circular flow of money and goods through our society, think of this inner tube. Simple circular flow is when money and goods go from the firm, the business, to households. Households buy goods and services from the business. Businesses buy land, labor, capital, and enterprise from the households. And so goods and services and money flow through the simple circular flow diagram. We can think about the economy growing or shrinking based on this simple circular flow. As an inflatable inner tube, if I blow air into the inner tube, it gets bigger. We grow the economy. If I take air out, then the economy shrinks. That simple circular flow gets smaller. Well, what causes goods and services and money to go in and out of this simple circular flow? What causes air to go in and out of this inner tube? Well, we can think about things like imports. That's where we are bringing goods and services from other countries into Canada as a leakage. And that is because the money that we spend on those goods and services is leaking out. So think of it as a valve causing air to go out of the inner tube. Just as imports are leakages, so are net taxes. So when we pay money to the government, the amount of money that stays with the government, so not transfer payments, that's where the government pays you, but the amount of net taxes, so taxes minus transfer payments, that's money that goes to the government and stays with the government. It's leaking out of this simple circular flow. The money's no longer going directly to the business. The third leakage is when we put money into our savings account. So again, think of this as a valve where money is, or sorry, where air is leaving this simple circular flow. In which case, money is leaving our simple circular flow. It's not going directly to the business. It is instead going into a bank account. So these valves cause air to leak out of our simple circular flow. We can also inject air into our simple circular flow with things like export spending. That's where we sell goods to other countries and so the money is coming in to our simple circular flow. Other ways that money can be injected into the system is through investment spending. That's businesses buying goods and services from other businesses. And we can also inject money in when the government buys goods and services. So this is pumping air into our simple circular flow and growing our economy. So the economy grows if we inject air in, it shrinks if we're leaking out. And so we look at the amount of injections versus the amount of leakages to determine if this simple circular flow, if our inner tube is growing or shrinking. If our leakages are more than our injections, the economy is shrinking. If our injections are more than our leakages, then the economy is growing. 